Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel live wire video tutorial we will learn about the nested components. So why this is required, why we have to use them, how we can use them. We will learn everything in this video. So first let's look out the points of this video. We will make the two components. One is users and another is the user list. So keep in mind that we will make users as a parent component and user list as a child component all right and then we will pass the data from parent to child and we will also add some style also all right now let's see what is the nested component so using the one component inside the another component and making a complete hierarchy will be the nested components all right so here you can see that uh, let's say our complete website as a component and this is uh, uh, really possible that our complete website will become inside a component but inside the main component we need some other component also right like uh, here is, this is our complete website then we have a header component then we have three these components and after that uh, we have the more inner components and all right so this is basically uh, you can say that a diagram and if you just look out the tree structure then you can see that a parent component then it have some child component and the another has an again child component so this is the basically nested component system we can say that now let's see how we can uh, just make the component and how we can use the share the data everything so let's make the two components first of all i am just going to make here php artisan make live wire and our component name so my component name be a users and the second component will be a user list all right so you will find this component here uh, here our uh, we can say that uh, two blade classes for them and uh, inside the live wire http folder you will find the two class of the components all right so uh let's use the users component inside a blade template so that we can just able to view here so i am just going to open a welcome.blade.php and let's remove the old content just right from the scratch http all right and here i am just going to add a three tag one is live wire style even I don't, we don't need it if we can, we can just ignore it, just simply write here, iterate live wire and inside it just write here, uh, our component will be users, alright. But for a moment, users is completely blank, so that let's add here a h1 tag also. So, just we can simply write here. Uh, users parent component perfect and let's see that we are able to get in here perfect so after that let's remove this semicolon let's add the uh, user list as a child component here so that we can just simply add here live wire and let's put it in user list right and we know user list is also blank for a moment so let's add some content here also like at three tag and i am just going to write here child component child okay we are able to access a child component also that's perfect so now let's see the how we can transfer the data okay so we will transfer data in a two way one in the array form but before that we will send some simple data like name and string and all a very kind uh, very a single name we can say that a very tiny amount of data all right so from the user.play.php i am just going to put a data like uh, name can be simply anil yep this is possible now if i am just going to run it you will see we have an error and it will tell that encountered a missing mount method right so 
what is the mount method if you don't know about this i already made a video on it which is the life cycle hooks and you can get the link from the description box and uh, now let's just come on a, a live user list uh, component and just write here function and just write here mount this is a life cycle method and i am just going to put here dollar name like this all right because user have a name and we are getting it as a name and just simply write here a property dollar name is blank for a moment and uh, this is a public property now just write here dollar this name and uh, here you can just simply write here uh, dollar name right so this name is now stored in the this property right local property stored in the public property that's great and now let's come on a user dot list and here i can just simply write here uh, dollar name so we are what we are getting here okay so we got the anil so i'm just going to add some text here name user name is anil that's great yeah so this is the single data that how we transfer the data from users to the user list now let's say if we have uh, some array and how we can just transfer it for that let's come back to the users dot php file and just define here a property uh, in a parent component like uh, public dollar uh, names all right and here i am just going to put some name like peter iron man i will just want to make like this hulk then 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 who then batman let's mix all the heroes uh, then superman okay that's great now yep that's like this now let's use uh, and access these variable in the blade file so let's come on a user.blade.php and if i just want to use them i can no directly print them like here because this is an array if i'm just going to trying even then it will give me an error that you can see that all right so i have to use here for each loop all right and just use here dollar names as dollar name all right and inside it if i just write here h2 and just simply write here dollar name you can see that we got the old name as an Mm -hmm. okay so i just put the double uh, we can uh, see that all the uh heroes in the name list is here yep so iron man is my favorite and i just want to make it capital yeah because this is uh, small here that's okay okay so now let's come back and uh, let's see how we can send this data to our child component so if i am just going to use this live wire my child component in a loop then you will see the print is uh, uh, printing a nail again and again so i can just simply replace this dollar name here all right and now here is the magic we got the all users and they are printing here all right so this is the way that how we can just transfer the data from parent to child if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care